Welcome to Arena! We've got a special arena where you get dual class and then basic and classic and no sets in standard are in the arena pick. It's crazy! The Madman! I'm gonna go with really basic mentality here because really unexplored territory. I'm gonna pick Warrior first because the hero power of Warrior is bad, which means that traditionally cards in the class have been good for Warrior. None are stronger than I. And then choose your secondary class you will gain its hero power and draft cards from both classes. Warrior Mage for damage minions, also not doubling up on weapons. Sure, it's a good standard hero power. We'll go with a good standard hero power for our first dual class arena. Rumor has it that this is neutral stone, so we'll see if uh, that holds true. I'm gonna not go with any sorts of statistics look up because it probably isn't relevant for this specific arena. I'm just gonna go with the gut here. Also, the buckets are gone, so there could be really bad cards with really good cards. Replace your starting hero power with a better one. That's pretty uh, value oriented. Is this arena a value oriented arena? I think so. For your opponent's weapon, 555. Five, five. Sure. So even though you can't get Flame Strike with Scroll, I think it's still probably better than the other two. Well, those are some good cards. I remember Fool's Bane was rated pretty highly back in the day. Blood Razor is also good, though. I'm gonna pick Blood Razor because I have two other five drops. If they're, like, roughly comparable, then sure, that's fine. Let's go with Flame Color. Old Wraith, 3 mana, 3 4, sure. Hey, look, it's Ultra Star. Bladed Beetle. Death Speaker. If I value Adapt at plus one, plus one, roughly, six mana, six, six taunt versus Spider Tank, three mana, three, four. Uh, also, it's got a mech, which could be important for uh, goblins versus gnomes. Possibly. It appears that spells aren't offered very often, so Champion is a big value card at the end. Or I can pick a four mana, three, six, which is a decent card. I do need four drops. I'll pick Cobalt Monk. Reaper. Back to the office. Alright, let's go the Dragon Slayer. In the world of Valley, Wobbling Runs gets a lot of Valley slowly. The wobble Wobble. Bash! Wasp? I don't have any one drops, so the Lens Carrier could be a dead two drop. I think I simply go with the Warg in here. It might be pretty tough given, you know, how few spells appear to be around to actually deal with a one health stealth minion. I think I just pick it because it's actually good on two. Ooh, Flame Can versus Creeper. I don't know what happened to the class cards, but it appears that you don't get very many of them. Or Creeper. Ooh, it's Zombie Cha. That card's OP. Really good. I need some early game. Uh, Tuscar, Fisherman... Sure. I think I'm generally gonna want to be in the range of 6 2 drops if I'm trying to go with the uh, general idea of Arena. And currently I'm on pace. Not that many 4s, so I'm really looking for 4 drops as a priority. Maybe some big stuff. Uh, Flame a Geyser. Sure. Bell Reaver. One of the top cards. Just pick it and uh, don't be scared. Earth Disciple is a really good 4 drop. I think 5 mana 5-5 five, five is the way to go here. Has some very small upside. Horse Rider. That's a good card. Fallen Hero. It's a good 2 drop. Oh, but that's a good 4 drop. And I need more uh, 4 drops, I think. Mana Bind versus 2 mana 3 2. There aren't even any spells in this format. What is there to Mana Bind? Draw a secret from your deck? We have 0 of those. I think I'll pick the 3 mana 4 4. 
And... Oh, our smuggler is solid. Okay, so I see why they call it neutral stone. I have a very basic deck here. As you can see, like, almost everything is common. And then we have a rare 3-6. Uh, and then the spicy cards in the deck are Fell Reaver and just a card True Heart. It looks like this is going to be a back to basics arena where I just take some good value cards and I take some good trades and then I try to win through incremental advantages. Oh, just a card True Heart. Is that a good enough card to keep? That is the spiciest card in this deck. I've got the 2 drop, I've got the 3 drop, I can coin out just a card on 5. I've got arguably the 4 drop, sure, let's just keep her. I'm keeping her in this very specific situation where I have the 2 drop and the 3 drop already. And I'm not entirely sure if that's correct, but this team is fine. Oh, that's nice, the uh, the secret tracker is actually correct over here. A lot of the traps are in basic classic, so it's very different. I think here I don't want to attack. Which means I can just play the Frost Rider. Sure. I also might not want to coin out the uh, True Heart due to potentially getting tricked by cats. So I think in this case I don't need bigger than a 2-3. So I can play this out first because it doesn't- no, stats now are better than stats later. It's like, what order should I do it in? I'll do it in this order. 3-1 just doesn't want to be traded into those 1-1s one -one, so... We shall wait. A weak slit is good for drooping. So I can check for a lot of the traps, which would allow me to coin True Heart, but it could be bare. So let's do this. Start. Demo. Killing spree. <laughs> Basically, I either play around Cat by not playing the coin right now, which I think is fun. I have a decent 5 drop. I don't have to upgrade my hero power right now. And the Bear Trap and the Wandering Monster both give him a slightly better board. I'd rather wait to give him the better board. You can take a better board tomorrow. Don't worry, Lux. The cavalry's here. Let's see what's in there. Bar truck. Welcome to the Grand Tournament, Champion. E truly. Okay, I think it's very likely to be a cat truck this time. So this is going to be one of those turn 10, don't use the coin games. No stupid. Don't forget to tip your tarin. Look at the value on this uh, frog gloom meter. It's eating everything.
It was actually a dart trap. Incredible. Game pretty much played out how I thought it would. It was a value incremental game. And just the cartridge heart didn't actually matter much. This time. Imagine voluntarily choosing the warrior hero power. I have a lot of three drops in here, so I think I will toss the less good card to play early and hope to get a three drop. And then keep the 4-drop, because the 4-drops are rare, and also the Brewer goes kinda well with the high health of the Beetle. Well, what do you know? Puddle Stomper was like, you need me! Two one drops in that deck. I'm warning you. I'm on Already two one drops is what I should say. That's a pretty small deck there. Probably not right to slam the Fell Reaver on this next turn. A little too soon. Ooh, nice matchup. Killing spree. Winter is here, and it's cold. Join the guild. We have cookies. I'll show them. I'll show them all. That is good value. Hmm. It's a strange target. Drink the power. Very strange. This does allow my 4-4 four four to hit the 3-3. Three three. Maybe he wanted to avoid the 3-4 from hitting the 3-3. Three three. So that was his plan. Small details. What now? Now's the time to slam the Fell Reaver and put on the pressure. Smelly fish! Yummy fish! Oh, how lucky. At least I have a huge guy. Playing a card just to burn three pointless cards. You fool! I sense your struggle.
Wait, what? You scum. Chemist potions. Okay, the four drop is really good, so I'll keep it. Again, imagine voluntarily choosing the warrior hero power ever. Well, why? Why would you do such a thing? I think in this arena, warrior, I mean, the hero power is really important because there are so few spells. Uh, the hero power actually can incrementally gain you value, and armor is definitely the worst hero power. So there could be weapons in that deck. I thought about playing Disciple and having it possibly get hit for the 3 damage, but I think this is a better one. Since this has a lot of health, uh, good thing to utilize. Hey, it's a dragon. Should I slay it? Yes, I think I should slay the dragon. Like a three mana seven six. Shush. Room brewer. Play this while I don't have very many minions. I think. Um, attacking for four doesn't do that much right now. But this is probably gonna get taken out regardless. So I don't care if that's frozen. Uh, I don't really care if that's frozen. So, unusually enough, the only thing I really care about is Dragon Slayer. But I already have a high attack minion, so we can do that too. Go! Don't worry, loves. The cavalry's here. The Wiz Banger Mark 7. Hmm, definitely gotta kill that 4-3. I don't wanna lose this minion, but fine. Can I light your fire? This power is ecstasy. that value. I think I will take it. This is where it gets scary though. Late game, run out of stuff. Actually, yeah no, I've had a change of heart. That's pretty solid. Ugh, cheating.
Ooh, no lifesteal with that drop. Oh, a lizard. A drop. I think I will take this curve. Wow, what is that card back? Smelly fish, yummy fish. Here of the raven card back. I haven't seen it used very often. Oh, it's a raven. The opponent could have played a card, but chose not to. Always interesting to note when that happens. I'm gonna play the more offensive card. Wow. I think I might want the 3-2 for trading, especially if he's that desperate. Skip this turn's attack. Man, it's another season where Hildnir Frost Rider is back in the arena. And people are, as always, amazed at how Freeze works. Hero Power is really helping out with incremental advantage. My instinct tells me that the rogue hero power is probably the best one. Just off of three games on Arena. Wow, combo. Ah, <laughs> oh, the Valley Wars. Like, my two health minion can kill a guy and not die? That's value. What to do? I am one with the candle. Eh. Throw on a hero's power. That's value! I think this is the meta of keep everything at one health and then just cross your fingers that they don't have anything. Which means that our champion, Cursed Disciple, is a really good in this meta. Really good. Killing spree. Time runs out on me. Can I light your fire? Which probably does make a card like Twilight Flame Color. Pretty solid. Dealing one damage to all the minions. But sorry, my awesome Fell Reaver is here to whip out you. Bash.
I have no reference for how good this deck is, but... Solid? Seems to lack late game, but seems solid. Haunted Creeper. What a pain! They used one and a half cards... <coughs> wow. My voice. They used one and a half cards to deal with two-thirds of this card. That's a pretty good card. Oh, that's here. That's OP. Cursed Disciple, not very good against that. At least I have my sludge to deal with that hammer. I see all these games in value numbers, like, you just spent 1.5 cards to deal with my, mm. uh, with 0.66 of my card. Well, really like 0.75. So I put me 0.75 ahead. But then you played Muster for Battle, which is a really good card. I was able to deal with 0.25 of his card. But it was for free, so that was worth it. And that's sludge. Don't worry, loves. The cavalry's here. You might feel a little. Tea. Don't worry, loves. The cavalry's here. Get him! Only works on the simple minded. <sighs> Nothing, never mind. I'm not a hundred percent sure, but I think that he doesn't have a murloc in the hand. Yeah, I believe that usually throws something towards the hand, if that activates. It's been a while. But I have just played a lot of adventures with Grimskilled Chum, so... I should know this. I think the next turn I'm playing Fire Blast, Flame Geyser. It's a little early to play the Lost Battle play. Talk about a nice suit. Do I want to trade in at this point? It would be an even trade. Fair trade. But I'm not looking for fair trades. I'm looking for unfair trades. Might be good enough. Good enough, Trin. You brought me Ooh. back. I don't think it's going to matter. So I'm just treating that as a 5-5 five, five for 4, which is a really good card. Two... I don't want a fair trade with the Gloom Eater. I should be able to do better than that. I also don't want to just trade in the Tar Creeper. Tar Creeper is like... 
They would go, thank you if I played Tar Creeper. I think I'd go with the Worgen Flame Elemental line. This is a good value card right now. I think setting up to kill that is important. Surprisingly big right now. For oh, value detected. Oh, my God, it's over. Oh, that card is so good. By the holy light. Here, take one of these now that your twin's good. Dark one snatch ball. Elune, guide my lands. Double down on a very good card. Yes? Can I light your fire? I think I'm just playing Cobalt Monk actually. Yeah, let's just play Cobalt Monk. I am one with I'm a coward. 4, 12, 14, 17. Here at power 18. Alright. Oh. Plus one. Bummer. Well, maybe I'll get Pyro Blast. Yeah, oh, you probably don't care about the math. Fantastic. Or just alternate conceit. Yeah. It's fine. Ooh. So I think the Dragon Slayer is actually so good that I don't play that on three. I'll find another one of my three drops. Like if I drew into Dragon Slayer and it was my only my only three drop, I would play it, but the possibility for a swing. It's too tempting. Good job, one drop, trading into one of the stronger two drops in the game. I bet he's sad. I sense your struggle. Oh, zombie chow, you stopped this monster combination. On purpose. This allows my 2-3 to kill the 2-1. Or possibly the 2-2. Two -two and keep the 4-4 four -four healthy. The opponent doesn't have a way to deal with my low health minions, so... I think I'm going to go with the... Have low health minions and protect them, route. That seems to be the way to gain the advantage in this arena mode. 
Trade in such a way such that all of your minions become really low. And then, well, I mean, accumulate value. That's about it. Trade your low health minions into their high health minions. High attack minions also. something more important. We're getting to the part of the game where I'm actually pretty scared. That hero power does outskill me in the late game, and I don't have a late game. I think health is basically irrelevant, so this is all fun. Killing spree. Drawings and card. That's value. Five, seven, ten, fourteen, fifteen. Oh, that's value. That's a value fiesta. <laughs> the victory is yours. Okay, I've got all the three drops. A lot of the three drops. Are these three drops good enough to keep in my hand? I didn't get the best one. The best one is Frost Rider, I think. But I do have the second best one, which I think is the Smuggler. I think I'll keep the second best three drop. Okay, I got the best three drop, and the second best three drop. So we're good. I'll show them. I'll show them all. Ride the polar bear express. But some nice synergy, playing two classes with secrets and having mad scientist. Op. Wanted. Dead or alive. The glory is mine. A four four and a three four is a good deal. Um I can rescue this guy if I want to. Yeah. Like a it's like playing a 5 mana 6 5 kind of is the way to think about it because. No, it's like playing a 3 mana 6 5. No, it's like 5 mana because the opponent didn't use 2 mana. That's why. Something like that. It's complicated. The glory is mine. Such a good combo. The glory is mine. It randomized into the same thing. Incredible. Or never mind, it just changed. I got the timing wrong. Uh, double spell damage. Oh, that would be nice. Gotta get that belly now. And we can test with this trash. Oh no! You got me!
Uh, three plus three. What? They fell off a what should I play? Thank you, smuggler. Good Wait, idea. Close, but just because I'm close doesn't mean I should abandon plan. Plan value. A demo. I'm just waiting for this to become Fireball. Or Pyroblast. Just kidding, that's not possible. Dragon's Breath, though. That'll do. Okay, I got the Cursed Disciple, which is a monster. Holy cow. Look at this guy with this dumb hero power over here at 8 wins. What are you doing, buddy? Fly, pony. Oh, and Azoth's first win. It's a good card. Great card against Cursed Disciple. Is it worth coining out my Worgen? Yes. The Ravaging Ghoul completely ravages me, but what can you do? Or the Blood Razor, but at least they lose the hook. So, I don't want to play Cursed Disciple into Rusty Hook, but it might be unavoidable. And this is a good trade. But maybe there's another path. It would be awesome if I could play Cursed Disciple at all. No, that's too dangerous. I should just play Cursed Disciple. Killing spree. This is the obvious play, but... If you're looking out for Veli, you want to play this when he doesn't have that. Okay, I'm kind of scared. We're going to the late game. I don't have my usual board advantage, and my late game isn't great, and my hand isn't very late gameish. I have answer cards, and I have a haunted creeper. Special delivery! <laughs> One day, I'll be a real knight. Fell Reaver isn't going to kill them fast enough. I usually don't believe that this will be a problem, but this time it'll be a problem. Because I don't have the follow-up. Gotta have some sort of board momentum to play the Fell Reaver. Or gotta be in the top deck war. Or the opponent's gotta be a little bit low. Usually one of those conditions is achievable. In this case, it looks like it's going to be a long, drawn-out battle where no one's got the clear advantage. Ah, 
That's a card I haven't seen in a while. Revenge. Okay, only two cards left in the hand. I think now would be the time. I mean, it's not like I really have an option. their hand is a paladin card. Let's see. Armor up. So I want this to go to one. Or this to go to one. So I can do this first because these guys have health that can be played with. Yes. Paladin incurred. Yeah, that's fine. Alright. Given that there's just one random Paladin card, looks like I'm quite ahead. It actually matters! Wow. Relevant card. Relevant buff. And look at that, the Fell Reaver didn't matter at all. This is a value 5 mana 8 8. Which was also a mech. Paladin card they've got. Almost certainly would have played some sort of board clear. Wow! That is a fat deck. Ugh. I think cards like that are actually really good because games have been going into you that late and with fewer spells it's hard to use a spell to efficiently remove a giant mastodon. So giant mastodon goes up in my book. Hey, It's level up! Empires fall. The real okay, two drop is a keep. One of my less good two drops, but still a keep. I think I play Fisherman. One, two, that'll be the other one. Why do we not want our 2-drop to trade into a 1-drop? This 2-drop specializes in trading into 3-drops. Mm, meteor. What? They fell off a truck. A real stinker! So it looks like a great flame color, and it is, but it's off curve. And because it's off curve, the fire blast is almost good enough. So it's kind of under time for the flame color again. I think this is a Fel Reaver on 5 game. Oh, that's a torch though. And follow up with a 5 plus the spare part. Keep the 4 too? Sure. I think that's the first time I've actually casted Shifting Scrolls spell, so it's good to actually 
use it. That's not a bad one. Fall Reaver plus horn. Can I light your <clears throat> I think ideally we play it a little bit later though. If I still had the 4-2 pressure, I probably would have played Fell Reaver though. Spare part too. With only four cards, I think I play the Dragon Slayer and the Horse Rider. Sure. At last. Don't worry, loves. The cavalry's here. Choose. The Fell Reaver drawback is more severe than in Arena's past because of the slow nature of this particular arena. Oh, wobble wobble. This could be interesting. Go face instead of trading the 4-3 into the 5-4. I'm go with that. Dragon. You escaped the pain. Can I light your fire? Get up! Get up! Well, I can kill this dragon. You played the Fall Reaver, but it looks like there's no AoE to be seen, so we're just gonna do this. I think it'll just assume they don't have AoE play. You never would do this in all arena. I haven't gotten punished for it yet. So statistically, I think it's just the right play. What's it called? Spreading Plague is still a card, so it's pretty spooky. big cards and I just have the big power strike right now. Right before I'm about to collapse. Okay, coin add a two drop. Play another two drop. Seems solid. Have a lot of three. Should I keep the four drop? This is my uh, third best four drop. I don't have very many. I have a lot of three drops. I think I'll go for the one, two, three, four curve. I have three more draws out of three. Nice. Nice that the Twisted Worgen is pretty much guaranteed for the Death Speaker to hit. I'm uh, playing this with the snowball plan. Oh, okay. Well, that's a fire blast. I think it is really, really good to have a deal one damage hero power in this arena. Reporting for duty. The master. And possibly Silverhand Recruit cuts it. Maybe. I'm not sure. Hmm. I am 
3-6 match as well against the 3-3. Three, three. One five taunt match as well against the three three. And that just a card true heart might uh, be my ticket to outvaluing. Choice number one, just a card true heart. Pretty solid choice. It's also nice to have a high attack uh, person on empty board, can death speaker them. Yeah. Have to beat that. I drew all of my late game, so this game will look to be a bit more value-ish. I think it's really good to save Flame Ken. I mean... I think it's really good to save Flame Color. It's really good to save, like, the special abilities. Basically, if I can use my minions to kill stuff and not have my minions die, I think I'm gonna take that option. I don't think the damage to face is that important. That is a really good sledge target. That's a really strong card. Huge swing for me here. That's some despair. Perfectly countered. Vine Cleaver. Maybe. Reporting for duty. Yeah, as much as I like Trump trading, I think that one's a deal five. The punish! That's why we Trump trade. Right on time. Whatever. Get them. Ah, kill the social light or hit the face. Hmm, social. Drink the power. But yeah, for Paladin, there's uh, there's no kings, but there is Spike Ridge Steed and there is Dinosaur, so valid to clear the board. But. Trade-offs. It's like five damage onto a one-one. Eh. Time runs out on me. Talk about a nice soup. Alright, two drop, three drop. Three, four, sure. Slight temptation to keep sludge, but not really. Not enough. Reporting for duty. Wrong start. Ugh. You know, usually I've been the one snowballing other people, but this is a game where I'm already feeling the pressure. Going second and not having a uh, first turn play. Okay, they slowed down at the top. Yeah, I have to coin 3-4 I think. 3-4 three, into 3-4 three, into, um, 4-4. Four, four. The Puddle Stomper isn't strong enough. I'm drop dead gorgeous. Daring face attack. I think I want to play Cursed Disciple here while there's no 1-1s. One That's pretty good. And while this Imp Gang boss can't kill anything. Yeah, this is solid. We'll have a little bit of tension on the board. Some stuff not getting traded.
quite the slugfest we have going. Ah, do I trade? I think the Zimp game boss is too spooky. I should take it out in one shot while I can. Fine. My 3-3 does trade favorably into a 4-3. 2-1 uh, Divine Shell Charge goes well into the 5-2. I just have too many good trades. Fire Blast protects my uh, one health, guys. Oh. But. Da 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 da. Da 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 da. Slayed. Let's see. Trade against the Paladin. I got poison. Good, got my two damage in. Ride the polar bear express. Dark one snatch all. Miss me, foul lizard. I think my poison guy is too good to expose right now, so I'll just play two things that aren't too bad to trade into a two five one. He's almost obligated to trade into the 3 2 because otherwise I fire blast it. Ooh, face? Wow. An unstable portal is a fine card to cast. Cast it first. Plan the fire blast, so I have six mana left. I don't need to bash, I can play Shroom Brewer. Maybe. We'll see. Ooh. Oh, for that first. Welcome to the exhibit. Wah. I must choose. Ah, crap order. Supposed to keep that around. Killing spree. Oh, Shredder. This guy's cards are insane! Something, something. That must be annoying. 2 4 attack guys. Uh, I don't think I need to play Shroom Brewer yet. Let's go with this one. It's kind of rough. It's kind of rough. Face. Okay. I've got 11 damage. I'm at 12. Give me something good. No? Good deck. Good deck. I got me. How do you play? Okay. So I want to keep a 3 mana 3 4 in my opening hand when I don't have a 1 or a 2 drop. How many other cards would I like? Tark Reaper, Spider Tank, Frost Rider, Smuggler. Boss would be okay. Horse Rider is fine. There's too many choices that are fine. Aggressively go for the one or two drop. No, 
this one. Because if he fire blasts, not the weaker card. Before it kills my 3 4 perfectly. Yep, yeah, that's good. Five mana, deal four damage. Not great, but. Yeah, Bash is actually pretty bad because the game three armor does basically nothing in this format. Almost nothing. Reporting for duty. Aha! No aggressive whacking with the mall. Get sludged! I can't kill both of them, so I'll kill zero of them. Let me think. Still have champions. Gertrude is a good turn 8 play, as well as a good turn 6 play, as well as a good turn 10 play. Oof. Minions, which isn't that big a surprise, but it looks like they've got the late game tied in, tied up, which means we're desperately trying to win now. Okay, that's fine. I think we can get there. By killing him, I negate this ability and make it as if he only played a 5 mana 4-4. Four, four. Thus the potential problem of hand buffing, that it is inherently slow. Oh, that's bad for me. Well. Let's go! You know? Yes! Do -do -do -do. Bonus value quest! Nice! We are, uh, almost... In the 1,000s of negative gold now. 